Each dawn as we rise, Lord, we know all too well. We face only one thing, a pit filled with hell. To scratch out a living, best that we can, but deep in the heart lies the soul of a man. With black covered faces and hard calloused hands, we work the dark tunnels, unable to stand. To labor and toil as we harvest the coals, we silently pray, Lord, harvest our souls. Am I still dreaming? What done this to my Betsy? I'm not sure. Might have been some college kids playing a prank or a mountain lion. Maybe a bear. No college kids did that. No bear either. And then who or what would have done this, Mr. Haggerty? Not sure, and it's not from this earth. What is that supposed to mean? You mean it could be aliens from outer space? Listen, if you don't have something of substance to offer, I suggest you get the hell out of here. Look at the groove markings on the bones. It looks like a saw or a small pickaxe was cutting in on them. Or some, or what? Something with razor sharp teeth was gnawing at them. Now I've seen what a bear and a mountain lion can do. And I'm here to tell the both of you this was not done by a bear or a mountain lion. So we ruled out bears and we ruled out mountain lions. Now we're back to aliens. No. This is different. I don't know what. But I have a feeling that something bad has fallen upon us. Sheriff. You better get ready. What do you think, Sheriff? I think Mr. Haggerty's been hitting the bottle a little too much lately. I heard that. Yeah, I meant for you too.
Maybe it wasn't just a dream. doing sneaking up on me like that? I wasn't sneaking. You'd have to be damn near deaf not to hear me coming up. Though I did see you a little preoccupied. Yeah? I was deep in thought. About what? Why would you ask that? Just curious what would bring a young lady up to this spot in the middle of the woods. Do you know what happened here? 100 years ago, 12 people were forced into this mine by a wealthy coal mining baron, and the entrance was sealed off with dynamite. 12? I thought it was 13. Well, yes and no. You see, one of the women was eight months pregnant, so really, 13 souls were lost. Back in the 70s, state authorities decided to open the mine in order to remove the remains of the people that were left there to die and give them a proper final resting place. The only problem was, when they went in, they didn't... They never found the bodies. Great. Not one single shed of human remains was ever found. We searched the mine for weeks, but nothing. So you're familiar with the story? Yeah, I know the legend. Legend? It's documented historical fact. History is open to interpretation. Maybe so. It can be unkind to those who have lived through it. Those poor people. They all perished here in a cold, dark hole in the ground. No one deserves to die that way. I've seen you in the bar where I work. Your name's Haggerty, right? That's right. I'm Raven. Nice to meet you, Mr. Haggerty. Call me Haggerty. Just Haggerty. Well then, Haggerty, would you mind giving me a lift back into town? My pleasure. So how do you know so much about the mine? I'm a PhD candidate. I'm writing my dissertation on 20th century workplace tragedies. That ultimately led to reforms and safety guidelines to protect innocent, hardworking Americans from being taken advantage of or even killed by greedy entrepreneurs and corporate machines. My major focus is on the coal mining industry. Sounds like important work. It is. I'm helping to give voice to the forgotten people that gave their lives to help shape important changes in this country. They deserve to be heard and given their place in history. Do you want to know the title? Sure. Money, Madmen, and Massacres. The tragic events that inspire change in the 20th century American workplace. Catchy title. Maybe it's a bit over the top. It's a working title. Anyway, I do a lot of research trying to dig up the truth. I tend to get caught up in all of it, but that's how I know so much about the mine. This is me. Thanks for the ride. Don't mention it. If you get a chance, stop by the bar tonight. Your first beer's on me. I just may do that. Hey, one last thing. Have you ever seen an old midget with a long gray beard around here? Can't say that I have. Anything's possible in this town. You okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. I'll catch you later.
What are we gonna do to make sure another one of my cows is not slaughtered? Are our children safe? Is there a killer on the loose, Mr. Mayor? Now hold on, everyone. Let's get an update from Sheriff Starling before the rumor mill runs out of control and we throw a panic over our town. Sheriff, what can you tell us? Thank you, Mayor. Uh, the bottom line is we need to just not overreact. Okay, everybody, uh, we just have a simple case of a bear or a wild animal that has attacked one of Farmer Smith's livestock. That's it. Farmer Smith indicated that there is, in fact, some speculation that this is more than a mere wildlife attack. That's right. Haggerty said it could be space aliens. That's not what I said. I did say that whatever this is, is not from this earth. Meaning what then? That this is something dark. Something evil. Evil, Mr. Haggerty? How so? One should be very careful throwing about such words. Mr. Haggerty, let's not get carried away with your extreme notions. We don't want to needlessly frighten the good people of this community. You should be afraid. We should all be afraid. There's been a slow burning curse on this town for a hundred years. You know it. You can feel it. And now, there's a storm of evil that's come for us. How do you know this, Haggerty? Have you seen this evil before? You all know my story. You know what I've been through. No, Father. I have never seen this evil, at least not face to face. But I know it exists. I have felt it. Let me ask you something, Father. Have you ever seen God before? And I don't mean in the laughter of children. I mean, have you ever seen God before and looked him in the eyes? Yet, you still believe in his existence. Yes, of course. Mr. Haggerty, your concern over this situation and your theatrics are well noted, as is your drinking. I may be a drinker, but no drunk. I have said my piece here today, and now I'm done. This is all on you. Well, let's say for the moment that we're going to entertain your outlandish notion. What would you have us do? I don't know exactly, but I would try to figure out a way to stop this, to put an end to the evil chain that surrounds us. I wouldn't even listen to this guy, Dad. This guy's just an old drunk. This is what these kind of forums are for, to hear ideas and gather information. As you will all agree, some ideas are not very good ones. Mr. Haggerty, for instance, seems to be reading too much fiction lately. But there is nothing to be concerned about. Our community, our families are safe. I thought I'd take you up on that beer. Glad you came by. Thanks. Hey, I need to talk to you. Not right now. After my shift ends, okay? Okay. <laughs> oh! Excuse me. Mr. Haggerty. I'm so sorry. Didn't mean to bump into you. Glad to see you're out having a few drinks. Getting those creative juices flowing, are you? Are you going to tell us some more of those campfire stories? 
Brad, I think it's time you get home now. Or what? What are you gonna do? Scare me to death? Do you want to take this outside, Mr. Coal Mining Tough Guy? Coal mining is dangerous and difficult work. Compared to what I've faced, you in this situation are nothing. So I would strongly advise that you get the hell out of here right now. <laughs> well, that's not very scary at all. What are you, a lawyer? I would strongly advise you get the hell out of here right now. I'm gonna kick your ass, Haggerty. The only person that's gonna be doing any ass kicking around here is me. You got three choices. Number one, I kick your ass. Number two, I call the sheriff and you spend the night behind bars. Or number three, you get the hell out of here right now, go home and sleep it off. What's it gonna be? Oh, okay. Huh? All right. Okay, Cyclops. Ah! I'll leave. Yeah, well, I was just blowing off some steam in there. I really wasn't gonna hurt old Haggerty. Well, I had a good time tonight. Except for that last little bit. <laughs> Thanks for dinner and drinks. <laughs> Maybe too many drinks. You know, the night doesn't have to be over yet. <laughs> Did you just see that? I didn't see anything. The only thing I see is you. I can think of a few other ways that you can say thank you. That sounds nice. And not tonight. I have to get up early in the morning. What if I don't want to wait? Well, waiting will make it that much sweeter when it actually does happen. I'm done waiting. <laughs> Come on, baby. This is gonna be so good. <laughs> no. Just relax. Stop. Come on, baby. Just relax. It's gonna be so good. What the hell are you supposed to be? Halloween's over, man. You're ruining my date. Do you know who I am? It's supposed to be so good. I can't <laughs> wait to try it. Well, let's get some pizza and beer and go back to the garage and spark one up. Totally. Good plan. Wait. Let's just smoke one right now. It's an even better plan. Oh my! What the hell, dude? 
Douchebag, where are you going? Awesome costume, bro. Yeah, where's the party? Man, you want to hit? Do you ever wonder why Raven wears that eye patch? Wait, Raven wears an eye patch? You ready for another beer? Well, after all the excitement. So Raven, is there anything else that needs to be done back here? Hey Alex, this is my friend Hagerty. Hagerty, this is Alex. Hello there, I'm Alex Bierfeld. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance, Mr. Hagerty. Sir? Nice to meet you, kid, but call me just Hagerty. Yes, sir. Hey, when you get a chance, please restock the first beer tub and I sound everything. Sir, but your pleasure, my warrior princess. Get out of here. What's with the kid's accent? He's a foreign exchange student from Finland. He's a good kid, hard worker, smart as a whip. A little sweet on you. <laughs> yeah, maybe just a little bit. Well, who wouldn't be? Haggerty, are you flirting with me? Hell no. Just making an observation. Besides, I'm old enough to be your father for guys. Grandfather, maybe? Hey. <laughs> Not that old. Or am I? He's <laughs> really close by. I think we ought to check it out. I know it sounds crazy, but that's what happened. All right, thank you for your statement. Would you be willing to come to the station tomorrow, sit with our sketch artists, so we can get a composite drawing of this male suspect? Yeah, of course, but I'm telling you, this wasn't a man. It was a monster. Sheriff, do you have enough? I'd like to get her to the hospital now so the doctors can be checked out. Yeah, go ahead. Right. Wait, Sheriff. One more thing. It's probably nothing, but... There was a little man in the alley just before we walked in. A little man? Yeah, like a dwarf. He had a hat and a beard. Sort of like those statues people put in their front yard. You mean an all? Right, like that. Except without the pointy red hat. He sort of looked old and out of place. It was probably nothing. No, no, no. I got it. No details are important, okay? Let's get her to the hospital. Thank you. Monsters, dwarves, this is just getting better and better. They legalized marijuana in the state? <laughs> Sheriff, can you tell me what happened here? Yes. A very unfortunate incident occurred here this evening. There was one fatality. It's an ongoing investigation. Was this an accident or was it deliberate? It's being ruled as a homicide. Who is the victim? That information is not being released until the next of kin is notified. Do you have any suspects? No, like I said, it's an ongoing investigation. We're just getting started. We'll learn more as the day has come. Okay, let's go home. So there may well be a serial killer on the loose then? No, one murder doesn't justify a serial killer. The people have a right to know. Hey, listen, the body's not even cold yet. Will you give us a chance to do our job? So you'd rather people be left in the dark? I want people to be informed by the facts, right? We don't even know what the hell is going on here. 
Masters, do me a favor. Don't make this into something that it's not. Okay, now that's enough questions. You'll give me an exclusive when you know something. Yes. Good night. Oh, Jesus. Poor kid. Hey, what are you two doing here? This is a crime scene. You know you can't be here. And you, this is the second time today you've butted into police business. Police, I'm consistent. If I need your help, I'll ask for it, okay? You two get the hell out of here. One question. Yeah. Any idea what the miner's tag is about? The what? Brass plate on his forehead there. I don't know what that is. In the old days, it was used to identify anybody that was in the mine at any given time. It acted like an accounting system to keep track of the bodies. Maybe whoever is doing this is trying to tell us something. I've yet to assess the crime scene. Okay, there's still a lot of evidence that needs to be accounted for, catalog and review. Like the bloody boot prints leading away from the body? Yes, exactly. Hey Pam, come over here, let's get a shot of these. Alright, come on guys, let's go. Hey listen, we've never handled a murder before. I don't know the last time something like this has ever happened here. I don't know that it ever has. Hey, I understand that you and Brad exchanged words tonight. Yeah, that's right. Did you have something to do with this? <laughs> no. But if I would have done it, I would have taken his head clean off. He didn't do it. He was in the bar the whole night with me and 50 other witnesses. He never left. All right, I'm just doing my job, okay guys? Do me a favor, get home. Please stay out of my way, all right? What do you think? I think I need a drink. So whatever happened to you, why are you so bitter, so angry? I pretty much hate the whole world. Why? What do you mean? I was working the coal mines in Pennsylvania. I was there for five years. I had a great crew. We were like family. The company wanted us to work farther and deeper than we've ever gone before, working faster than we should have. The suits in the front office were trying to make this big year-end bonus. I said no. They insisted. They even offered us additional financial incentives to keep going. My crew needed the money for their families around the holidays, so we kept going. The structural engineer said it was safe. We hit such a sweet streak. Huh. We pulled out more coal in three days than most crews did in a month. We were heroes. And then the world fell in on top of us. We all survived the cave-in. But it took them three weeks to finally reach us. I was the only one that made it. I told my men that we'd be okay. That I would get them all out safely. And back to their families. I failed them. It wasn't your fault. No, it wasn't. It's a damn structural engineer's fault. It only felt like my fault. I should have died down there in that mine with my friends. 
part of me did die down there. Empty on the inside. Like a cold, dark mine. And that is why I'm so bitter and so angry. Does that help answer your question? I know how you feel. I've lost men too. You can't just give up. You have to keep living your life. What? To honor the memory of my fallen friend? Yes. That's bullshit. It doesn't work that way. It's like blowing rainbow smoke up my ass. No, it's not. Do you think your friends would have wanted it any different for you? Don't you think they'd be happy you survived? You have to honor their memory with your life. Too. To those that have gone before us. To those who have gone before us. So is this what you wanted to talk to me about? The things you said at the town. I believe you, every word of it. You may be the only one. Something bad has a hold on this place. I think it has to do with the mine, the tragedy that happened there. I'm not sure why or how, but it's linked together. Why would you say that? It's like this feeling that I have. I had a dream about the mine last night. That's why I went there today. I wanted to see it. I feel connected somehow. It's very interesting. When I was standing there, it was like I could feel the pain and torture that those people experienced. I could feel it coursing. Means. I could hear them suffering. It was awful. It certainly sounds that way. So why were you there today? Same as you. I wanted to see it. Why? The mine is the key to the whole thing. It has to be. Just wanted to see it with my own eyes. See if I could get a sense of something. Did you? I didn't have the same experience you did. I did feel something. What? Danger. Evil. Death. Jane said she saw a little man. That sounds like the same man that I saw last night. He must be a part of this too. Actually, it's not who he is. It's more like what he is. How long have you been there? Well, long enough. Okay, kid. What is he? They call diggers. They're kind of like leprechauns or gnomes in the underground world. Some miners believe they because of the early warning system. They would, you know, make knocking sounds for an explosion or a cave-in. Some miners believe they act as culprits of incidents that have happened in the mines. How do you know all this? Well, my grandfather. Before he moved to Finland to marry my grandmother and became a fisherman, he used to be a coal miner in Wales. He told me all these stories about his days working in the mines. So what about you, Mr. Haggerty? Have you ever seen the diggers? That's the stuff of coal miners' folklore. Like Santa Claus. The Easter Bunny. Bullshit like that. I never believed any of it. Until I saw one.
Savior saved my life. Holy cow. I keep it for luck. Only these days I fill it with bourbon. Then that little man that I saw, he must be one of the diggers. He's here to warn us. But about what? Something bad that's gonna happen. What do you think we should do? Research. Sometimes you have to look back in order to move forward. Jake. What's that son of mine done now? Mayor Dixon, I'm afraid I have some bad news. What is it? Brad is dead. Just leave. Come on in. Sit down. Tell me what happened to my son. Based upon the information provided by the young lady that was with Brad tonight, he was murdered. Murdered? Why? Well, all the details are a little vague at this time. Did she say who did it? There's not much to go on. She was injured at the incident. A concussion, so her vision was impaired. Well, what did she say? Well, sir, she said, uh, a monster did it. A monster? What the hell does that mean? Listen, sir, please understand there was some drinking involved too. So between the alcohol and the injury, the details are a little sketchy. No. No, I don't understand at all. My son is... My son is dead. I'm sorry, Mr. Mayor. Please go. Yes, sir. How was he... killed? How? His throat was cut. Massive bleeding. Do you think he suffered? If he did, it wasn't for long. You find who did this? Yes, sir. Mr. Mayor, listen, there's something else that I want you to hear from me so you don't get blindsided by somebody else. She's also claiming that Brad sexually assaulted her. You tried to rape her. Do you think she's telling the truth? There's no reason to think otherwise. Rough day at the office? Yeah. Mayor Dickerson's son Brad was killed. What? Oh my god, what happened? I don't know. We haven't put the pieces together yet, but uh, he was murdered. Murdered? Really? Yeah. Let's talk about something else, huh? How was your day? Oh, you know, the usual. 
ABCs, crayons, construction paper. <sighs> the kids are great. They're excited about the school year ending and going on summer vacation. Yeah. When I was a kid, this was my favorite time of the year. <laughs> Finish your beer and come to bed. You know, I thought I wanted something more from this job. More adventure, more excitement. Something. But after today, I realized I had it all wrong. The grocery store, parking tickets, <laughs> football games. The normal boring stuff. That's what it's all about. The everyday is perfect. I'll marry you. Deep. Got a man open. He launches the ball and touchdown. A 38 yard rocket for six. So the extra point is down just by one. Time to get the ball back. I don't know why we always have to watch sports. Because it's history in the making. We are watching history unfolding before our eyes. History in the making? So is the news. Why don't we watch the news and, and find out what's going on with the world? The news is not history in the making. It's sensationalistic reporting of events that have already happened. Plus, it's depressing. With sports, there's always hope. Not with the teams you root for. What? <sighs> One of these days, I'm either going to kill you or you're going to kill me. One of us has to go. And there will be one remote to rule the world. Hey. How about some housewives? <sighs> well, it's almost halftime. We can watch a few minutes of your program. What was that? Don't know. How can you live like that? Woodpecker, maybe? Be an awfully big woodpecker. Why are the Miller kids messing around? I'll go take a look. No, sit down. Eat your dinner before it gets cold. It's your favorite, Salisbury steak. I do love Salisbury steak. Now what was that? You should probably your fat cat jumping up the bed. You should probably put that thing on a diet. Who ever heard of putting a cat on a diet? I need some hot sauce. Want me to grab you anything? No, thank you. Nobody's gonna put up with your behavior. It is my life. Could you put the game back on? Lines up a 47 yarder for the win. Here's the snap. The kick is up. And it's good!
Hey, Sheriff, what can I do you for? <sighs> Listen, I got a witness coming in. I need a sketch. Hmm. See, I've got a client. Got rent and bills to pay. Since what I do for you guys is free of charge, I gotta put my clients first. Yeah, but sweetheart, I brought you coffee and donuts. Aren't donuts really more your thing, Sheriff? <laughs> 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 oh, an attempt at a cop and a donut joke, huh? How original, Bill. It's still early, Sheriff. Bill's just getting warmed up. Yeah. I'm a muffin guy. Blueberry, actually. I'd have paid you more as a, a brand muffin kind of guy. <laughs> Fiber joke. He is just getting started. Listen. This is a murder case, okay? I need that sketch now. There better be a bear claw in there. Of course. Who are you talking to? You mind coming back for yours tomorrow? No, Jess, it's all good. Do what you gotta do. All right, let me finish this. I'll get cleaned up and I'll be right over. All right, I'll see you at the station. Thanks. Good morning, Raven. Morning, Mary Bell. What brings you in today, sweetheart? I need to do more research on the mining massacre. More than you've already done? You've already read every book we have on that subject. You know all of those inside and out. I'm taking my research in a slightly different direction. Really? How so? Not exactly sure. There's some details that I've missed. Something that will open the doors to the answers that I'm trying to find. I understand. Well, you already know where all the books are, so you'll let me know if I can help you. Thanks. Jane, this is Jessica. She's our sketch artist. She's one of the best. All you gotta do is just tell her what you saw, okay? All right. Are you ready? Yes. Sheriff, you got a minute? Excuse me, ladies, I'll be right back. What is it, Mills? Got to report two more bodies. It's Ron, Tammy, Wilson. They live in the RV up on top of the mountain. Yeah, 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 I know that. What in the hell is happening to our sleepy little town? Sheriff, you should come see this. Two more tags. Two more bodies. So hey, what you got? Seriously? Is this some kind of joke? <laughs> Here's your suspect. It's the boogeyman. Thanks for the bear claw. not a man. He's a monster.
Who's there? What you doing in my barn, little man? Where'd you go? You can't be in here. This is my barn. If you had anything to do with killing my Betsy, I will string you up by your thumbs. Jeez, you are a slippy little sucker, aren't you? I'm gonna get you now, you little shit. There's no place left to hide. Three strikes, and you're out. I'll be damned. You went upstairs, didn't you? He just disappeared in the thin air. How is that even possible? What, what in God's name are you? you? You the one that killed my Betsy? Okay, kids, please put your drawings in my basket before you leave. And don't forget to study for your spelling test. Hi, Sheriff. Hi, sweetie. How are you? Good. You have a good day today. Thanks. You do, too. Okay. Hey, you. How are you? Good. What are you doing here? I was in the neighborhood. I just wanted to stop by. That's so sweet. What is it? No, nothing. I just, uh, I just wanted to see you. Is there something wrong? I just wanted to make sure you're safe. I'm fine, sweetheart. What are these? 
What is this? My kids do them. Why? We're reading a storybook in class about dreams. I just told them to draw what they saw in their dreams. What is it? What's wrong? Jesus Christ. Sheriff, you ever seen anything like this before? No. Never. Not even close. And there's another one of them tag things stuck in the wood over there. Looks like he got one shot off. Hit something over there. I don't know. It looks like blood, but it has like coal or oil in it. I don't know, Sheriff. I'll have the boys bag, tag, and photograph everything as soon as I get here. That looks so badass. Thanks, man. <laughs> no. All right, you're all done. Oh, thanks, Jess. That's awesome. Check it out. Dude. Check it out. Dude, pay the lady. Pay her. <sighs> thanks, boys. Thank you. So, Jess, you want to uh, join us and smoke one up? Tempting, but I've got to stay here and clean up my machine, so... Sorry. All right. Uh, next, next time. time, yeah. There you go. All right. All right, Jess. Take it easy. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> See you around, guys.
Sorry, I'm closed for the night. I never should have shown you guys that sketch. I'm impressed though. What is that, latex? Which one of you knuckleheads is that anyway? Old and all matter, huh? Yeah. Did you find what you were looking for? No, not really. What's all this stuff? Here, take it. Maybe it'll help you find some answers. My car. What are you doing? Don't go home. What am I supposed to do? Go play miniature golf? Where'd he go? Another 80s classic from T Rock FM, Trinidad's classic rock station. Our advice don't drink hemlock and honey.
of this has happened before. Oh, yes, it has. And now it's happening again. Why didn't you tell anybody about this? I did. Well, at least I tried. Fifty years ago, nobody believed me. I tried telling everybody. Nobody would listen to me. And Jasper Salt, he took the fall for 12 murders. Oh, they pinned the whole thing on him. A swift trial, virtually no press. They swept the whole story under the rug and forgot it. They threw Jasper away like an old newspaper and left him to rot down in the state prison. Who was he to you? He worked in the mines back then. He was the sweetest man that I ever met. We were going to be married, you know. I visited him as often as I could in those first few years. But then he made me quit coming. He didn't want me to wait. But you know, Raven, I've always held out hope. When this started happening again, why didn't you come forward? Well, at first, I didn't even think it was related, and no one believed me 50 years ago. Why would they believe me now? The whole story sounds preposterous. A monster from a coal mine? Really? I believe you. Well, honey, I knew you would. That's why I gave you my information. If anybody can make sense out of this nightmare, Raven, it's you. So, whatever happened to Jasper Salt? Oh, he's still serving his life sentence down in the prison. He's still alive? Oh, yes, honey. Yes, he is. Today for your art assignment, I want you to draw something that makes you feel happy or safe. Like balloons, or puppy dogs, or your mom and dad. All right? Okay, get to work. With the heart is dark, and black is cold. The monster from the mine is gonna steal your soul with the heart as dark and black as coal. The monster from the mine is gonna steal your soul. With the heart is dark and black is cold. The monster from the mine is gonna steal your soul. Okay, please put your work in the basket. Thank you. Bye. Bye, have a good day. Bye. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Well, at least this time it's a cute little elf. Sweetie. Jake! What is it? What's wrong? I saw the... Girl, what did you see? Monster! Hey, no! Nicole, no! Code 2, 217. Elementary school, stat. Nicole's in trouble.
I'm sorry, Jay. But there's nothing you can do here. Please, go home, get some rest. We'll take good care of her. Why did he leave two tags? I don't know. Maybe he heard us coming and got careless. What is it? Another tag and another body. God. Who? Susan Harvey. Soccer mom? Yeah. I want everything, okay? Forensics, photographs, prints, everything on my desk tomorrow morning, all right? You got it. We gotta stop this. Say five our fathers. Do some stuff with the rosary beads and be nicer to your mother. Thanks, Father. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bless you, my son. Go with God. to sin.
Sheriff, are you sure you want to do this? If somebody has to officially identify a body, nobody's more qualified than me. Okay. Did you know that she was pregnant? What? No. She was about six weeks along. That's why he left to Dex. What's that? Do you mind just giving us a moment alone, please? Yes, of course. Hey, Mills. Father Fitzpatrick's been killed. Is there a tag? Yes. All right, I'll be there in a minute. started off with a gal being killed too. Some eyewitnesses told the police about a creature. Hello, Sheriff. We're all real sorry to hear about the call. If there's anything we can do. Thank you. Listen, we're dealing with some screwed up supernatural shit here. and I'm just not equipped to deal with it by myself. I need your help. So I'm asking. Pull up a chair. I was just starting to tell the guys that this has all happened before. The last time someone was murdered in this town was 50 years ago. And this creature did it. He went on a killing spree and 12 people were brutally murdered. Minor tags were left with each body. This man, Jasper Salt, was unjustly convicted of the crimes. For some reason, the town kept it all very hush-hush. This dirty little secret seems to have been forgotten by time. Till now. How did you find that drawing? This is Jasper Salt's journal. 
He drew this 50 years ago. Jessica drew this the other day. Wow. That's the same creature. That's what Jane said killed Brad. That's what killed those other people. And that's what killed my Nicole. I just don't get it. Why is it doing this? Revenge. I think this monster was created out of hatred or evil when the original 13 were killed in the mining massacre. Once it's found a flesh, it's just a theory. Damn good one. You know what, that actually just might work. Jane said this thing said something to her. 13 souls to pay the debt. 13 souls I will get. It's targeting people based on their date of birth. I cross-referenced the original 13 with the 12 people that died in 1965, and they matched up. I then compared that against the eight people that were killed over the last few days. Nine. Nicole was pregnant. Nine people. Those birthdays will match up too. That means that it has four people left on its kill list. We cross-reference the remaining dates on the list with the town's birth records. And protect those people. Right. Only there's one small problem. There's no birth date on file for one of the original 13. Yeah, but we can at least save three lives. And in the meantime, maybe try to figure out how to stop this thing. Jasper Salt's in the state pen. Can you get us in? Yeah. Just let me make a call. You know, most guys don't listen to girls, but I do. I do. Because if you listen, you can learn something. Do you remember when we saw this at the film festival, Phoebe? You were so scared. We had to leave the nightlight on for a week. <laughs> you want some popcorn? So, I put her in a dumpster. I don't remember this part. This must be the director's cut. I put her in a suitcase and I sent her on her way. This is one of my favorite parts. He's gonna get it. <laughs> and then I took that shit and I put it where it belonged. Hey, what's this? That's not your tag.
he's coming for me, isn't he? Stop! Or I'll shoot! Mr. Salt, I'm Raven Kelly. This is my friend, Mr. Haggerty. I won't bite, Miss Kelly. Please, have a seat. <sighs> Thank you for agreeing to meet with us. I'm doing research on the massacre that happened at the mine in Trinidad. Are you familiar with that incident? Yes, I know about the tragedy that took place there. Would you mind if we asked you a few questions about it? Miss Kelly, I appreciate your politeness and your veiled attempt to make this about something other than what it really is. I'm sorry, but I... Why would you come talk to a man who's been locked away for 50 years for crimes he didn't commit and ask him questions about an event that took place a century ago? I thought perhaps you could shed some light on a specific topic that might have something to do with what happened at the mine and also with you. You're not here to talk about the massacre. You're here to talk with me about the monster, aren't you? You're here to talk with me about Black Lung. Black Lung? That's the name I gave him, to the monster. I've had a lot of time over the years to think about him. He's the reason I'll die inside this hole. I had to call him something. Black Lung. It seemed appropriate. Mr. Salt, we don't think you're guilty of these crimes either. We think this black lung creature was responsible for all those murders 50 years ago. You're right, he was. Only there was no way I could prove it. They called me a liar. They called me crazy. People would rather condemn an innocent man than believe what they perceive to be an unbelievable truth. I can't say as I blame him. It still hurts though. The real truth is, evil exists. I know it, I've seen it. We believe you, that's why we're here. Why now, after all these years? He's back, isn't he? Yes. Sometimes I think I see him in the shadows waiting for me, maybe coming back for me. Coming back for you? Thirteen souls to pay the debt. He only got twelve. I'm the one that got away. Do you know how to kill it? You can't kill something that's already dead. But I suspect it can be destroyed. Go on. I don't think it's possible to confirm any of this. But I have some ideas. We're willing to take a leap of faith with you. This is what I believe. What is it? Why do things like this?
this happen? I just don't understand. There is no why. Things just happen. It would be like counting the raindrops in a thunderstorm. It's just not possible. You just accept the fact that it's raining. You either get out of the rain or you put your raincoats on and you take care of business. Time's up. Is any hours are over. Mr. Song, it was a pleasure. Oh, take it. Good luck. Thank you. And thank you for all your help. Certainly hope it is, and that our paths may cross again one day. Good to meet you, sir. We actually met once before. You were just a baby then. I knew your father. I liked him. He was a good man. Thank you. I read about your scrape back in Pennsylvania in the newspaper. That was a tough one. Yes, it was. Let it go. Well, one last thing. What do you think the deal is with the cows? My best guess is, after you've done a 50-year stretch in a mine, first thing you want to do is get a good steak. That's what I would do. Here's to you, son. May you rest in peace. Suffer not the same fate as your son. What? Who's there? I'm not gonna suffer the same fate of my son. That's all bullshit. I don't buy into any of this.
We either take the fight to him, or we figure out a way to draw him out. We don't need to attack him from inside the mine. That's his territory. We'd be at a disadvantage without any recon. Okay, so we draw him out. But how? With me. I'm the last target on the list. What makes you say that? The birth dates. I was adopted. I don't know what my real birthday is. I was left on the steps of the church, so that's the day that we celebrate my birthday. So it's me. I'm the bait. We bring the monster to us, and we end this tonight. Look, Alex, I know you're gonna want to help. No, I do not. I'm going to wish you all good luck, go home, lock myself in the basement, and I'm going to see you all tomorrow when this is all over. He did say he was smart. Go home. I'll see you in the morning. Black Long! Come out and play! Come on, you're close now. Huh? I know you can taste the blood. Just one more kill to go. Let's go. And I ain't going out without a fight! You're gonna have to come and get me. You're gonna have to come and get me! Get me! I'll take those odds. I know this isn't going to kill you, but I hope it hurts like hell. How do you destroy coal? How do you destroy coal? You burn it. You burn it. Filthy now. What the hell, Haggerty? I thought you put lighter fluid in that thing. I did. It's probably the flint. You didn't think to put flint in there? Never a good voice scout. <sighs> Damn it. Hey, Raven, you need a light? Throw me a lighter. <sighs> Dude, you throw like a girl, man. <laughs> Thanks, kid. Whatever. Let's go get pizza, Bella. You're right. Raven does wear an eye patch, huh? Come on! Ah! No! Kid, take this. Go help Raven. No, Haggerty. Go, go. 
thought you were gonna go home. I changed my mind. Let's do this. Time to burn. <laughs> Hit him again. Time to send you back to the hole you crawled out of. We kicked his ass. We sure did. Sheriff Starling here. I need an ambulance at Main and Elm Street. Immediately. The ambulance is on the way. Don't move. I don't need an ambulance. Give me a minute. Don't, don't do that. <sighs> Give me a minute. It's empty. Oh no, I'm really pissed. It's your lucky flask. Hey guys, look! We sure make one hell of a team, boys. Yes, we do. Now let's go get a drink and celebrate. <laughs> now you're talking. Jasper Salt, you are cleared of all charges previously held against you. This court orders that you are to be processed and released from prison immediately. Never thought I'd see this place again. It's been a source of so much pain for so many people. It's finally over. Over? Thirteen souls were lost in the massacre. This could be just the beginning. But now, we know how to beat them. I'm glad I'm going back to Finland. Each dawn as we rise, Lord, we know all too well. We face only one thing, a pit filled with hell. To scratch out a living the best that we can, but deep in the heart lies the soul of a man. With black covered faces and hard calloused hands, we work the dark tunnels, unable to stand. To labor and toil as we harvest the coals, we silently pray, Lord, harvest our souls. 
with the heart is dark and black is cold, the monster from the mine is gonna steal your soul. When the heart is dark and black is cold, the monster from the mine is gonna steal your soul. This movie is dedicated to those who lost their lives in the Ludlow Massacre and coal miners everywhere who continue to harvest the coals. <laughs> 